This isn't complicated. Let me show you. The simplest explanation of the this keyword is that it is an object which changes depending on the context of what you are doing. And the best way to explore what this is, is to simply console.log when you are unsure. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through four examples of console logging to find out what this is in certain situations. So we've got this index HTML right here and it looks like this in the browser. We've got this red box, we're gonna be using this later on. But for now, if we hop down here inside the script tag, let's explore the simplest example of the this keyword. We can begin by defining a new function called bottle and inside this bottle function, we can simply say console.log and then pass through this. If I was to call the bottle function, let's Let's find out what this is in this simple situation. Go back in the browser here. We can see that this refers to the window object. Okay. Now, if I was to say something like window.color is equal to red, then I'll call the uh, bottle function again. We can see here we now have uh, a color property right down here equal to red. So, like I said, in this simple situation, a simple function, this refers to the window object in this global scope. Now, where it gets interesting is when you have event listeners. So back to this box right up here, let's have a click event on that box. Let's hop down here and we're gonna say listener and pass through click here and then specify a function as per normal. Inside this function, we can now say console.log this just like we did earlier. Go back in the browser here, click on the box, and now this refers to the div itself. And a quick tip here, if you wanna see more of this div, you can use console.dir instead. Go back in the browser, click again, and this time you can expand it, and you can see here, once again, it refers to the box. So in the case of event listeners, when using this function syntax, this refers to the element which you are adding the event listener on. And an extra thing here is that if you were to instead reference the bottle function from earlier on, just like this, it's gonna give you the same result. Because of course now this in here is still the same this, it's just referenced differently. So you're referencing this function right here as opposed to specifying it twice. Back in the browser, click again, and we get the box just like we did earlier on. Now, you can actually change the value of this explicitly. If we use the dot bind function here, then uh, we can uh, you know, uh, place a new object here. We can say name equal to DOM and age equal to uh, 90. We can see here by providing this object, that is what this is now going to be inside bottle. Go back in the browser, click again, and we've overwritten what this is. So when you see bind in your code, that means to change what this refers to. And the last example of this video is gonna be arrow functions. Now, arrow functions are quite special because they allow you to ignore um, that context essentially. So if I was to have an arrow function here instead, then I say console.log this, we can see upon clicking on the box, it now says window. So you can think of arrow functions as essentially having no barrier between the outside context. So whatever this is outside here in this parent context, that is what this is gonna be inside arrow function. So they ignore that extra barrier and it goes straight through just like that into the function. So we, of course we're back to window uh, just like we saw right here. So that is the simplest explanation of the this keyword in JavaScript.